All right, I'm opening an 83 plus times 10 because I'm super impatient. We're saving the rest for the Twitch stream later today. If I get a team of the week in this pack somewhere, I'd be very happy. It doesn't look like it's going to be. I think I'm got, I got Lisa Magool here, didn't I? Lena Magool, is it a double? Please be a double. 87's not too bad, but when the team of the week card I needed to make the squad is 40,000 coins, I'd say it's not great either. If you're looking for cheap and reliable EAFC 24 coins, look no further than my new partner, Footloot, and use my code ELITE, E-L-Y-Y-T, for an extra 6% at checkout. Black Friday is here, Thunderstruck is here, the new promo, and I have 18 packs saved so far. All of them decent packs, including three 83 plus times 10 packs that we got out of SBCs yesterday. Now, obviously, those are pretty expensive right now when you consider you need a Team of the Week card to get these packs. So unless you have them untradeable, you're spending 30 to 40,000 coins per Team of the Week card right now because EA seem to only be targeting Team of the Weeks and 83s to do any upgrades so far this week. I don't know why that is or if it's going to change, but we've got a lot of mid-range fodder that we need to go up in price. We'll talk about all that today, guys, but let me know in the comments right now how many packs have you saved for this promo. Comment that down below. Let me know the number of packs that you guys have saved. And here's the deal. With the amount of packs that are being saved and then on top of that, the amount of packs that we're going to get out of SBCs and in the store today, inevitably a lot of people going over to the store and going to this page, this is exactly where EA want you to go, is right here for the FC points. I need you guys to stay away from that page because even though it might seem tempting to go out and buy some of those huge packs for $30, that's why we trade. For days like this, if you want to go out and do a gamble SBC, we've got the coins to do it. But I would stay away from spending any FC points today. That is the big trap that EA are going to lead you toward. Nonetheless, guys, we've got a new investment that I think is going to work out very, very well. Now, of course, we have the best of team of the week and the best of campaign for the entirety of this promo with RTTKs, Trailblazers, etc. in packs right now. But when we take a look at the best of team of the week, like Virgil van Dyke, Hyung Min Sun, Valverde, of course, those cards coming out of packs makes it so their gold cards are actually going to start rising sooner than others. But we're going to look at the exact team of the week itself. If we look back at previous years and take a look at team of the week cards that were in the best of last year, we'll actually see cards like Zhao Cancelo here, who was in the best of team of the week. They crashed so hard on Black Friday. But as the weekend ended on Sunday, Monday, you start to see that card rise back up. So a card that was about 150k, Dropped all the way down to 80,000 coins, 77K, and just in a week, rose back up to 112,000 coins. Now, you could actually hold that cold card even longer all the way through team of the year in January, and it'll go up even higher. But what we can see is if we buy at the end of the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, this card is going to take the next week and skyrocket in price. Let's take a look at another one. De Bruyne, a card that went for like 700,000 coins. Then as we got through November and got into best of team of the week, dropped down to 250,000 coins by Sunday. Then this card rose all the way up to about 290,000 coins, and that took just a week. In the exact same time frame, again, if you hold all the way until late January, February, the card goes up even higher in price. We're not going to hold that long. We're going to sell after that first peak because we know that once we get into mid-December, we're going to have another market crash. It's not going to be as significant as the one we saw in November, but it's for pre-team of the year hype. And whenever we get closer to the holidays and they drop new promos like winter wild cards, that's when people get hyped up as we get closer and closer for team of the year. So we're not going to hold through all of that. Sal is another example on Black Friday. You can see he dropped all the way through the weekend, hitting his lowest point, it looks like, on the Saturday. So Saturday is the day you should look out for these cards based on what happened last year. I think if you buy Sunday, you're doing just fine. But that card was 270,000 coins on Saturday. And after one week, that card went up to 350,000 coins nearly. So a big, big rise on all of the best of Team of the Week cards. And we know that there are some good best of Team of the Weeks to look up 
uh, look at, like Virgil van Dyke, like Kingman Sun, like Valverde. Those are cards that are inevitably going to rise after this weekend's over. So if you're invested in fodder like I am, I'm selling my fodder by Saturday just so I can reinvest in meta cards like the cards that are in the best of team of the week. Now, of course, we're going to be looking at some other cards that are meta like gold cards, maybe even gold Van Dyke if he drops down a little bit today, but he's already started rebounding because he went out of packs already. So the supply isn't going to hit his card nearly as hard as it would other gold cards in the game right now. Next up, we have a new evolution coming to the game. It's already Already leaked and before we hop into that guys I want to ask you guys to hit that subscribe button right now we're getting close to 150,000 subscribers I need your help to hit it but if you take a look at the first page of flipping you can see three different strikers that it doesn't really make much sense for them to be on the front page of flipping unless there's a leaked evolution which there is striker max 84 overall 87 pace 87 shooting 87 dribble 86 physicality those are the requirements to this and the best options can be the likes of Ben Yedder, Cody Gakpo, Lauren James, Raheem Sterling, and Angel Correa. And my question is, are these cards going to keep up with the power curve? Evolutions have kind of fallen onto the back burner and haven't been as popular over the course of the last two weeks because we've seen so many new promo cards, so many new SBCs. A lot of people have their strikers already sorted out right now, especially with the likes of Dalglish and Mbappe in SBCs this weekend. That is going to be a tough thing to compete with in terms of strikers. So they need to juice these evolutions for them to be usable. So when it comes to Ben Yetter, who is already 9,000 coins, I would sell that card right away. Because even if it does go extinct, it's only going extinct at 10,000 coins. So if you have these cards, I would sell. I don't think that they're going to hold their value. Maybe one of them does, like Yashko Vardial, when the center backs came out, stayed at 10K. The rest of them went from, like Correa, he went from 8.3K, dropped all the way to discard price. And when you consider that this evolution is going to boost these cards a decent bit, is it going to boost it more than what we see with this Centurion's Correa, which is 56,000 coins right now. And I don't know if people think that this card is going to be involved in this uh, evolution, but it's definitely not going to be because it's obviously higher rated than it, than it can be. But over the last uh, few hours, he has gone up from 42,000 coins to 56k. I honestly do not know the reasoning and why people are panic buying this card for the evolution, but all the power to them. I wish them the best of luck, but that card is coming back down for sure. I haven't heard this man's name in years. Oscar is back to relevancy in EAFC 24, and I'm not sure why they've chosen him, given the fact that he's in the Chinese league, which links to absolutely nothing but those Brazilian links. There's nobody in the Chinese league this year that has a special card or anything to link to, whereas even in the off leagues that we've gotten so far, like St. Maximin can link with a few things in Saudi Arabia. You've got, uh, you know, Megan Rapino last week could link to some other NWSL links. This links to nothing except for Brazilians. And so unless this SBC is absolutely super high rated with cracked stats and cheap, I don't think people are going to do this SBC. And EA is probably dumb enough to require another inform for it. EA. Please, for the love of God, stop requiring informs for every single SBC. There are other things in this game that you can need to complete the SBC. It doesn't have to be a Team of the Week card every single time. Solo to Squad upgrade is 11 gold players, 10 common, 1 rare. That's what you get in return, and it's untradeable. What do you need to complete the squad? An 85 rated player. EA, what are we doing? 85... And, and it's untradeable. It's not even like you can take a duplicate 85, turn it into a tradable pack, and sell everything inside of it and get some value out of it, even though, you know, all of the gold commons are going to be like 600 coins. It's not good value, even if it is tradable. Like, let's be honest. But the fact that it's untradable and it's only one rare gold card, you're submitting an 85-rated rare gold card for one random rare gold card in return. That's ridiculous, EA. I don't know if you have some better things planned, but... What, what are we doing here? This is not it. But that's it for today's episode. We covered all of the other leaked SBCs in the last episode. So if you want to watch that, that video is right there. Do not miss it if you haven't seen it yet. I'll be live later today on twitch.tv. Links down below. I'll see you guys then. Peace out.